We are getting to that time of year where something seems to ride on every pitch, and it certainly does this weekend, as the Alabama Crimson Tide pay a visit to the Texas A&M Aggies. The umpire wasn't ready to call that strike. More looking for a swing and miss. Gets it there, though. Detmer works through a clean first inning, sits the tide down in order. Minute goes the opposite way, heading toward the line and toward the wall, and that ball will fly out of here as Tommy Seidel loses his glove over the wall as well. After being out with a wrist injury or a hand injury, and he does it here tonight, just a fastball away, and there's a little stream heading out to left field, but he caught it up in there and cleared the wall by a few feet, but how about that? Welcome back, Brett Minnick. So close, Seidel. I don't know if he would have made the play if he was there. I'm anxious to see how that series shapes up. My goodness, what a defensive play by Nathan Detmer. Just tattoo it. Detmer would have worn it off the side, it looks like, but snags it and doubles off his old teammate at first. Point. Trevor Werner left field. The wind is blowing out that direction at the track, at the wall, and that ball is gone. Trevor Werner with a two-out homer over the left field wall, and the Aggies up the advantage to four to one. This one skies it, doesn't get all of it though. Wow, you can see off the bat, that's just a high pop fly. Trevor Werner and Brett Minnick need to give a hat tip to this south wind today. Up the big weekend. Call strike three to Drew Williamson. Nathan Detmer gets it. He's trying to get up the middle, but Hunter Haas is moving over. That's not an easy play. He kind of had to deal with the bag as he came across. But Nathan Detmer has now retired seven tied hitters in a row. Runners going. Warner to left. Has a home run that way already tonight, and he has another one. Trevor Werner, a couple of two-run shots. Willing that ball out of here. Look at it, here's the slider we were saying he needs to throw, but he didn't get it away. Left it right over the middle. And Werner punishes it with the strength and the exit velocity at which he hits balls at. You get it up into this jet stream, and that's gonna be out every time that one. Seidel. Aschenbeck throws the last punch, and he gets him looking. When they open an SEC series, the shift is on for Jace Lavalette, but he goes to center field, tracking back at the wall, and the Aggies freshman answers. He's gone to center field again, and as Warner left the yard for the third time, yes, he has. He passed Shoemake. On the night Shoebank made his MLB debut. Might be an MLB future for Jace Lavalette. He's just left the yard again. Lavalette just lands on a breaker. Man, almost clears section 12. No doubter for his power. But what is that? So you got Werner with three, Lavalette with two, Minnick with one. That's six. Got him swinging. The Brandon Garcia K will end it. Texas A&M takes Friday night 11-5. They open this series with a win.